is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. These two have been going at it, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. So here we go. Should be a good one. Nice punch. relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQs. Counter punches are the best. Quick punch scores. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That's a scoring left hand. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. They defending. So much firepower here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Fight is closer than two. He's going to be the first one to get bronzed. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Nice exchange here from both men. He didn't take that jab well at all. Changes from both men in this round. This fighter is going to be death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating. When you're in with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Neither man really defending himself. Score that left hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I don't know which. Which 
Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? He threw the hook, didn't land. Talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they went out of speed. He fails to score with that left hook. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight, he will be buzzed first. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Tyler, you know what? Sometimes when they're going to ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell are they going to do now? They go, neither fighter willing to back down. They better start respecting each other's punching power. The right hook can't miss. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. First one to get rocked. He just misses with that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagin' a pickpocket them. He's 
there's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. No way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. He's going to be the first one to get caught. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Changes from both men in this round. And this with that jab. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of clutch you out, box the fight, and beat them on points. And he just missed with that left jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Who's winning this? Buzz first. And he misses with the left uppercut. He caught him with a left hook. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Let's see how good he is defensively. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems at that moment of trouble. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali.
Just barely. These two fighters promise. And we enter the eighth round. Jazz. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What did they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with a left hook. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Big shot, and down goes Ali. One, two, three, can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Big shot, and down goes Ali. One, two, three, four. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. 